was a very large and very keen crowd at Hampton Park to see the international between Ireland and Scotland. The visiting team was first out onto the field, the Scots followed, and then Carey and Young met for the toss-up. Young won, so Ireland kicked off, and almost immediately came the first surprise of a sensational match. The game indeed had hardly got going when Walsh scored for Ireland. The visitors seemed right on top. There goes McCabe, number four, the Irish right half, taking the ball up for another attack. And within five minutes from the start, Walsh did it again. This was indeed a shock for Scotland, but they came back strongly. Waddle, number seven, their outside right, was working away hard and making many an opening, but the Irishmen were successful in their spoiling tactics. It was nearly all Scotland now, and presently they were rewarded for their determination when they got their first goal through Hooliston after half an hour's play. Crossing over, one down, Scotland kicked off and at once made it plain they intended to get on terms. Ireland were often hard-pressed, but their defence continued to withstand one assault after another. Half an hour after the interval, Scotland equalised with a goal by Mason. It certainly began to look like a draw. It was only at the last minute that Hulison got his second to give Scotland victory.